Hey there, this is KT Bradford with Laptop Magazine, and today we are taking a look at Filmon, which is uh, getting a little bit of attention today because this is a website that works for the iPad and for computers, and it essentially puts uh, live TV streaming through the internet on your iPad, on your computer. It's actually pretty cool. So we just wanted to like give you just a little quick look at it. Um, as you can see on the screen right now, we've got you know something playing here um, in the corner, and then over here on the side, we've got the the list of channels that you're able to to look at and the channels are a lot of them are broadcast channels so and they're all from LA for some reason I guess that's just because we're, that's where the developer is but you know we've got CBS, ABC, NBC, Fox, My you know all and all this stuff but then also further down the list we have some stuff from uh, other places including um, BBC News a uh, channel called Scuzz, which appears to be from the UK, um, and also Russia Today RT, which shows in America and it's in English, but it's um, so it's not like on all cable systems. But there's just like a really interesting list, and there's a uh, CNN International. Now, what we're looking at right now is Ion, and so all you have to do to get it to go full screen is just to do that, and then we've got full screen viewing. The quality is actually very good. We are on Wi-Fi right now. Um, but the, you know we've been playing around with this for a couple hours today, and the quality has appeared to be pretty good for most of them. Um, this is not an HD, as you can see, but it does fill up the screen. Not all channels fill up the screen when you do that, but let's take a look at an HD channel just to show you. Let's see, what's an HD here? No, wait, NBC is an HD as well. There we go. So this is an example of one that, uh, this is an HD, but it's also not filling up the screen. Um, let's see. And let's try that. Okay, again, not filling up the screen so too much. So let's see what other... We also might not have any HD programming on right now, but when you do get HD, it does the, the sort of letterbox thing. Now, as we said, not all of the channels actually work. Some of them you can only hear audio. Let me turn up the audio. <laughs> this is a music channel, but we're supposed to be seeing video here. We're not seeing it. And, um, See, it's the same way with uh, the BBC. So we're not getting a picture, but we can totally hear the audio. Um, one of the other things that we noticed when watching this, let's uh, look at uh, RT, which is Russia Today. Um, we also noticed that you can you can pause TV. So we paused it, and. Um, and when after a certain amount of time pausing it, uh, this lights up, which is the fast forward button, but it doesn't quite work, at least not on the iPad, because once we start it up again, then it actually just goes back to wherever it actually is in the live stream instead of um, necessarily starting from where it was. Like it'll start from where it was before. Sometimes actually it works sometimes. It, it all really depends on what the stream is and then like sometimes if you do that the stream like stops working and it gets confused and then you have to like move on to a different channel. So we've been playing around with this. This looks really cool. Um, basically it's it's for the kind of people who want to cut the cable cord essentially. Um, taking a look at you know broadcast channels and whatnot. So it's it's kind of cool. We are thinking that it's going to be, you know, if, if this works out, this could be what allows people to cut the cord because if you can watch your broadcast channels and everything through your iPad, then what do you need regular cable for? What do you need regular TV for? Don't know. So is this going to survive the legal battles which are sure to come? We're not sure, but we're definitely interested in taking a look. So once again, we were at filmon.com and taking a look on the iPad. And this works for the iPad and for computers. So you should check it out at home. This has been KT Bradford with Laptop Magazine, checking out Filmon for the iPad and for your browser.